I think I got it right. right. Let's see what we got here. Make sure all the audio, I just did a bunch of updates. So, okay, looks like we got everything. Okay, cool. What is up everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, it looks like everybody's talking about new trailers. Um, and look at all that sort of stuff, five by five. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the happy beginning of the week edition of Roby Tech. Happy Tuesday, or as we call here, happy snow day. Um, we got a ton of snow here. Um, and it has caused a bunch of havoc, but you know, it's okay. I was like, what's the best way to celebrate a snow day? Let's do a PC build and not any PC build. Let's do an Intel Arc showcase build. So uh, I, uh, we have a video coming out on Monday, which is a Intel Arc, um, it's like a budget build. And I was like, you know what? I also wanna make like a pretty Intel Arc build. So we're putting in all the bells and whistles, really kind of making it look good and then having a little fun. So this should be, should be a pretty cool video. Uh, thank you very much to Nutty, GSX Therapy, and Clarks for the early subs, kicking things off. I'm confused, Guleno, Gulono says. What's going on? He's, he's confused already. He's already, I haven't even done anything. I haven't said anything, I haven't done anything, and he's already confused. He's, oh, he's confused about something. What is he confused about? <clears throat> Happy Tuesday. Oh, today Thursday? No, today is Thursday, sorry. Did we stream on Tuesday? Did we, we did stream, did we stream on Tuesday? What day is it? I don't know, did we not stream on Tuesday? I didn't, ha ha ha, ha that's why. Today's Thursday. No, okay, yeah, that's right. It was in, I was in, uh, I was in uh, San Francisco at, uh, at Corsair, so that's right. Okay, that's why my days are all messed up. Uh, it's, uh, it's 2019, uh, it's, thir Tuesday. it's Thursday. I did see the new torrent in white, Milketto. So yeah, I like that. I knew that the, I've, I'm really excited about that. It's October, guys. Happy, happy Halloween. Uh, we are here. I'm um, sorry, I just kind of got the stream. I was, I was working on a video uh, and then I transitioned to a stream relatively quickly and I think I just lost everything. But anyway, happy Thursday, the right day. Uh, we're getting ready to go on the weekend. Uh, Ford Lightning is showing up tomorrow. Uh, we're getting ready to go do our, our wilderness PC build. That's getting ready to happen this will, this uh, this weekend. So there's just a lot going on in the Robitech world, but it's good to see you. Um, today, just to give everybody an update, uh, which I, I think not a lot of people are interested in based on viewership. Uh, today, we're gonna be building a completely a stunning uh, showcase build with the Intel Arc. Uh, we have the GPU, uh, huge shout out to Intel for sending us that. Uh, and then of course, NZXT for sending us all the parts for this. I, you know, honestly, uh, the ARC, we, we, like I said, we have a video coming out on Monday. Uh, still, there's still a lot to be said for a GPU that costs as little as the Intel ARC does and what it's capable of doing. And I really hope that Intel uh, does what it, you know, continues its commitment, continues to work on the, uh, the GPU and the drivers. Uh, so that way we can just basically uh, see a third competitor because I know everybody is stoked. I mean, because every time I post a video about the Radeon GPUs, it's just like, it's like crazy uh, how much, uh, how much love those are getting right now. So people want competition, people need to see that. And so uh, it, it's, you know, it's good to see Intel trying and hopefully we'll get to see a little bit coming out of it. So I wanted to do that. I wanted to get people stoked. Um, and so I figured, hey, let's go and uh, do a little Intel Arc content and show it off a little bit. So should be cool. Um, happy, uh, you know, for the most part, we're coming up in the, in the holiday season. Uh, one thing people probably noticed that the, the number had changed. We ended up with a, uh, with a weird issue with uh, the sub count. So we ended up when it finally readjusted, now the number is actually corrected. So we're only about six, well, a little shy of 600 subs away from nailing down that PC giveaway, which could happen at any point in time. Yesterday, I mean, just last week uh, for the PC giveaway stream, we actually hit 500 subs in a single stream. So you never know. It could be just one of those things. You're gonna wanna tune in, because I mean, we could have 90 people here and end up giving away a, uh, you know, almost $2,000 PC or, or $1,500 or $1,700 PC. Uh, you, you just never, you never know what, what could happen when we're so close to a PC giveaway. Let me talk about what is happening uh, for giveaways this this month though. Like what's, what's the deal? Um, so we have a couple things. One, we have a, we're gonna basically give away a PC. Uh, so it's up for grabs uh, based on the number of gifted subs we get over the course of, for Christmas. And we will announce the winner, uh, the stream before Christmas Eve. So what we're gonna start doing is counting it. We'll have a number uh, that'll start showing up in here after we finish this. But basically the larger the sub count, 
the better the PC. No matter what, we're gonna give away a $1,000 PC. But every time we get above a certain number, any entry going to that, you basically get entered to win a PC that we will announce uh, the day before Christmas. So if we get 2,000 subs, then we'll give away a really, really nice PC. So as it starts to go in there, it's gonna slowly upgrade over the time. So that is the sub only giveaway for the month of December. And it's sub only. So no GPU giveaway this one. It's just, it's a flat out PC we're giving away. So um, if they, uh, if they, so the, if all you gotta do to get entered to win towards that PC is just use your free Amazon Prime sub. And then every, uh, if you wanna get multiple entries, tier one gets you three, tier two gets you five, tier three gets you 10. And then of course, every gifted sub gets you an additional entry. And then you are basically entered to win uh, an amazing PC. So it should be cool. It's an, I feel like it's a change. I think people are kind of done with the GPU giveaways. So this one, it'll be a flat out PC giveaway. Uh, and it could be, you know, depending on how it goes, could be a two or $3,000 rig um, and a really, really awesome thing. So should be cool. Like I said, we're gonna be giving that away at the beginning of uh, right the week before Christmas. So you got 25 days essentially to, well, not 25 days, but, and then we'll be counting it the entire time. So we'll put it up there. And then as we basically see what the, the subs counted is, we'll, we'll make it a good PC. Uh, second thing, uh, we have a $25 new gift card up for grabs. All we gotta do is get 250 likes over at youtube.com slash Robitech Live. Uh, so if you head on over there, hit that thumbs up button, get 250, we give away a $25 new gift card. We're, if we get a level five hype train, we also give away a $25 new gift card. So every level five, we give away another $25 new gift card. We are one thing away from unlocking a hype train. So if somebody wants to just draw up a hype or a whatever it is, then we'll, we'll basically get that going. So yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, if you could do that, Tom, that'd be awesome. So yeah, just drop it. It could be 100 bits, whatever. We'll start Hype Train and then we'll get that going and then we'll get right started into building. Uh, should be a fun, pretty simple build today, I hope. Um, I've built this before already. The only thing we're doing is vertical GPUing and adding an AIO versus another one. So it should be a nice, nice, cool build today and I think it's gonna come out really, really pretty. Let's do the choo-choo, guys. One more person, 100 bits, and then we've unlocked the, the Hype Train. There we go. Najia dropping out a gifted sub. Let's see where we are. How has your week been otherwise? We, uh, is, is it, has it been good? I, I mean, everybody having a good week so far? Okay, level three, guys. Let's finish it out. Hey, Bittersweet, thank you for the one month gifted sub. Remember, guys, all of your subs that go in there, Riddick dropping 10 more, all of those subs goes towards that PC giveaway. So you, you never know. But it could be absolutely awesome, the PC that we, had, we end up giving away, uh, and you can end up with a really, really nice rig. So remember, the more subs we get, the better the PC that we're giving away right before Christmas. Two naughties, one stream. Wow, oh, there we go. Ding, ding, ding. There it is, there's level three complete. Okay, so we're almost done with level five. We just gotta finish this, and then we'll give away a $25 new gift card, and then we're done. See what else is going on. You guys are quiet today. You're relatively quiet today. I hope everybody's doing well. Level four done. We only have a little bit left and we'll start go, We'll start talking about the parts. You ever, Even 15 gets you AAA title game before you, even now, unlike a year ago. Yeah, the build that we're gonna do today, we have the numbers for performance for the build we're gonna do today. Uh, and it does really well at, uh, at, at most games at 1440p or 1080p. What do you think of the Acer Nitro 5? Depending on the specs for that, we've done a couple of reviews on the Acer Nitro for the laptop. Um, we actually have some really good, there's an MSI Arc laptop that's actually on sale right now for 600 bucks. Uh, that was actually pretty good. Um, and then uh, let's see, there's a, there's a tough gaming laptop. So we had some really good deals as part of Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Uh, more than likely, uh, um, Check our like check when we get back today, like when we get to the deal section today, because I'm guessing Tom's probably got some sort of laptop giveaway uh, deal. So, so take a look at that and see where they're going. Doing a double shift, yikes! Wow. Yeah, it's like with the with the with the prices going down like they have. Yeah, you're right. It's been it's been nice in terms of what the overall costs have been and stuff like that for sure. Come on, guys, we're at three. We, we're so close to locking out that level five. Let's just finish that level five and then we'll start getting everything ready going on this uh, on this build thing. Yeah, I like the I like the prices. Even the even the Ryzen sevens have started. Even the new seven thousand series have started to drop. And we're super close. Like what? Thir what? Twelve days from the from the seventy the seven thousand series GPU launch. Oh, that's awesome! Awkward fat man. 
I did not, Najia. What happened? What happened with your what was your what was your new egg drama? Let's let's spill a little tea. Spill a little tea here on the show. Yeah, it's December 8th. Driving I-5. Ooh, just be careful, out factors. That's right. Show, thank you, Kurosaki. Show YouTube we care. Guys, good chance right now. Only two people on the top of the uh, of the giving leaderboard. SFP, what's up, man? My favorite type of instrument, probably the, I like the, wow, well, that's a tough one. Favorite type of instrument. I don't, I don't have a good answer to that. I really like the piano and the guitar. I mean, I mean, that's, they're good. Um, I've all, I'm learning to play guitar and bass right now. I, you know, learning terribly, but still learning. But yeah, those are probably my things. One minute and 38 seconds, guys. Let's just knock this out. Hey, GSXR Therapy dropping a gifted sub. Getting this a little bit closer. We're now less than 570 away, 75 away. It's an electric, uh, it's a Gibson? I'll tell you next time. So, I did not, what did Najia say? Najia said, I'm going to scroll up, see if I can feel it in there. Paid for EKI and fits it and both got voided due to stock issues. So they just didn't have any? Oh, no snow. It's definitely snowing here. 56 seconds, gang. Let's fit. We're so close. Let's just draw it over the line. It could be bits. It could be whatever. Oh, it's definitely snow here. We're so close, BMOC. We're so close. 30 seconds. Just drop it across and we're we're there. It's it's like I'm trying to fan it. I'm trying to fan the flames of hype. But it's it's slowly going away. Slowly. Riddick's like, I give so Red Pyramid Head. Okay, 20 seconds. He he just he just gets it so close. Red Pyramid, he gets it so close. 10 seconds. It's gotta, it's it's just, it's right there. It's so it's on the verge. It's on the verge. Okay, well, I'm going to give it. You know what? I'm going to be nice. We're going we're to count it anyway. Riddick gave five more. We're going to count it anyway. We're, even if Riddick hadn't done it. Because it's, it's, it's the holidays. So we'll give away the $25. So anyway, thank you very much, Riddick, for doing that. But we, we got it. I'm going to count it. We're fine. Let's talk about what we're putting inside of this. We're going to start with this right here, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh. This right here, here it is, top down. You guys probably just thought, you guys probably just thought this was like a, this was like a show. This is just a show piece, right? This right here, it's just a show piece that they gave me and a huge shout out to Intel for sending this along. I'll clean off the box a little bit. It's got a little thing. It's, it, look, check this out, it's got power. I can turn it off and on. It looks like a nice little sign, but open it up and sure enough, there it is right there. The Intel A770 ready to go. Just sitting inside there. It's just been sitting back there waiting for this moment. There are, and, and Noah's in here along with all of the, uh, all of the animals are in here too. So we will, uh, we'll get this uh, done a little bit later. But yeah. It is a clean looking GPU and I, I really do like the RGB in it. It's got mad RGB. Okay, so let's talk about the other parts we're gonna put inside of this. We're keeping it keeping it real, keeping it minimal. Today, we're gonna to be using the Intel Arc A770. That's the, the, the centerpiece. And we're gonna vert mount it. Because you know what, honestly, temps aren't a big deal with this GPU. Okay, so let's talk about everything else that's in this build. So for uh, CPU, we're gonna use the Core i5-13600K. For our RAM, for our RAM, we're gonna use the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro SL. Somebody's asking how powerful is it? It's about, if you count DX12, DX11 is a whole nother story, but uh, if you count DX12, it is, it is on par, if not more powerful than the 3060 Ti. So, uh, and then uh, for our, uh, our, mother, our storage, we're using a one terabyte SN 
570. So yeah, and for three for uh, for far less money too. Um, but DX11, it's 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 kind of like it's like everybody's going into competition. Like AMD's like we're amazing, and and they're right, we're amazing, unless you do ray tracing. And Intel's like we're amazing, unless you do DX11. And then Nvidia is just like hey, we're good, but we're we're not cheap. <laughs> you know, so that's kind of that's the that that's 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 if each person was playing something. Except I think Intel would have like a monocle. I think Intel, would, I think New Age, sorry, I think Nvidia would have a monocle in the top hat and be like, mm. <laughs> you know, like one of those evil villains. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, for store, uh, just keeping with the NZXT theme today, and I always just love the cleanliness of this build. We're gonna use the uh, NZXT uh, Z7 Z690. Uh, uh, motherboard. It's just a very, very clean build. It actually goes really, really well with their H5 flow um, and uh, go from there. You're, I hope so, Zito. I hope so. We'll find out. So um, we got the N7 Z690 uh, GPU, uh, sorry, uh, Mobo. We got a couple fans in here. We're going to throw in here. We got these F120 RGB fans. So those are going to be for our, uh, for our front fans that we're gonna be using just to give it a little bit of that glow, that magical glow. Oh, no, sorry, on the top. They're gonna to be top and back. We're gonna front mount our AIO. Uh, for our power, we're gonna be using the C750 uh, ATX full PSU, which is more than enough power for this bad boy. Lots of purple and white boxes in here. And then uh, for cooling, we're gonna be using the NZXT Z63. This is a 280 millimeter AIO, more than enough to air cool our 13600K. And then uh, we got a couple accessories here that we've got added uh, just to show this off because we haven't shown it in the H5 Flow. We've got the vertical mount kit for uh, the H5 Flow uh, in black. And then we got some fun, guys. We're gonna have some fun with this. We got some cable extensions from Asia Horse. We're gonna be using two different colors just to make sure this is a little bit more showcasey. And those are purple and blue. So we're gonna mix some colors, mix some fun, really just kind of make a neat little showcase build for the Intel Arc. Uh, why DDR4 versus DDR5? Because Z, they don't have a DDR4 version of this MOBO. I will say now at this point in time, I actually have a video coming out on this very soon. Uh, DDR5 is now so inexpensive that now it's de definitely worth uh, jumping to DDR4. Uh, DDR5, DDR5 4800CL40 kit will outperform a DDR4 CL16 kit. So at this point in time, the bandwidth and everything else, it's now makes sense to jump to DDR5 just because it's it's that expensive. And now DDR4, like the tough DDR4 Z690 and the tough DDR5 Z690 are the exact same price. So yeah, now at this point in time, DDR5 is the way to go. Hey, more dread, more dead. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, what's up? It's good to see you. So anyway, that's our parts for today. Should be good. What's my saw? I haven't tested it yet. I'm supposed to get one and I haven't tested it yet. Um, so, uh, you know, again, I, I, I don't want I want to hold reservation until we get it. I know one of the things that was kind of tough about the 980 Pro is that they went from a SLC to an actual uh, a TLC model. And I don't know what's in the, nine, the 990, um, which is why I prefer the, um, which is why I prefer the Fire Cudas over Samsung drives. And the other two is Fire Cuda, it's hard to argue about the drive rescue service that comes with their stuff. So, but I haven't, I haven't got to use it, so I don't know. Why is it that, uh, for quite a few reasons, more bandwidth, they, they had to change the form factor to make it work. So there's actually, it, there has to be physical changes to it um, to make it work. Yeah, it should be a sweet build. Thank you, Fluffy. I don't know why I put all the parts away. I guess I'm just going to go to bed. That's it, guys. That's today's build is just showing off the parts. Just kidding. Thank you very much, by the way, Top Q for the sub and BMOC dropping his sub today. Ugh. Okay, so now let's get this out. Do I need to be connected or do I, you can boot up Windows without internet. Um, it's, I mean, it should be, a, it shouldn't be a problem. It depends. Uh, yeah, it should, yeah, it should be absolutely fine. You do not need to be connected to the internet to, uh, to do Windows. Ugh, top down. Okay, there's a big MOBO. 
It's always fun. Okay, first question. First, uh, first thing that's coming up, guys. Will the VRM, will the socket cover clear the VRM? We've had, we've had a streak of good luck recently with these. I haven't, I've done, I do it offline all the time, so I don't know why you would need to, but maybe I'm just missing something. VMock would know, because he does a lot of, he does a lot of uh, support stuff for that. So, but I, we, every time we install, we install it offline a lot because you don't have to use a Microsoft account a lot of times. Oh, I'm assuming you have installation material, yes. Hey, did they fix your, uh, did they, did they get you your RGB squared away, Blondie? Oh, I guess I'm just going to put this right here. Actually, I'm going to open this back up. So. Just realized I need to get something out here. More dead, it depends. Um, I like Noctua NTH1 thermal paste because of its spreadability. Apparently I have the best, th the one of the top performing thermal pastes, but I don't like it because it doesn't spread at all. And I, I like to spread my thermal paste like I like to spread my love all over. Well, wow. all right. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this opened up here. Let's uh, get get our CPU installed here. So yeah, this is the one that I use. It's the Noctua NTH1. Apparently, this is the new stuff. The Prio, the Pro Lima Tech uh, PK3. This also has. Apparently, it has the one thing it has for it for the thermal compound is it also includes some metallic bits, but they're non-conductive, uh, which is pretty crazy. But apparently, it makes a difference. I just don't like it. But I have it, so. Okay, let's go ahead and open up our i5. There we go. Okay, guys, first test coming up. Here we go. Motley Aces, thank you for the sub. Yeah, they're just not my favorite. Oh, Queenstown, Singapore. That's awesome. Thank you for saying hi. Open it up. Yeah, that's the stuff I'm using. This is the latest Noctua paste. Okay, here we go, guys. The big taste, the big moment. It's going to happen. I hope you put your prediction in. Dropkick, thank you for the sub. Okay, here we go. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Whoa. It's not doing anything. Wow, okay. Wow, that's like that's like stuck in there, the worst I've ever seen. Okay, I'm just gonna check, I'm gonna check to see what's going on here. Okay, I'm just gonna re. It's not coming out, guys. Wow, it's not popping off at all. Yeah, we've rolled a 20, a critical fail. I would say that this is a no. This is a no, I've never seen this happen, but it did not pop at all. So the answer is no. I had to take it off the old fashioned way. <clears throat> Never seen that, right? I wonder if that's a bad sign for today's build.
It had no bounce. I've never seen that before. It's not popped. Hey, Blue Jay and that other name, Diet. I'm not going to say the other name, but nuts. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it just wouldn't go. But it's technically a no. I think that's like not, I don't think that's like a on the line or a refund or anything. What's up, Pig Radio? Oh, Racer Pros, usually you can get it to pop, which is the more fun thing. And we do that almost every episode. And there's a whole vote on it and a bet. And now our Vegas is dead. It's all gone. You get no joy. No joy today. Make sure this is nicely covered. Here we go. You know, it's funny, I haven't, I actually haven't used one of those before. I need to. Usually what'll happen is like, well, I, I, you don't have that problem. It depends on the MOBO too. Like certain MOBOs, you just don't have issues. The NZXT one doesn't have the issue, so you don't necessarily need to. Um, and the other thing too is the Thermal Grizzly sockets have been really hard to get a hold of. Um, so a lot of times I don't want to put them in there because it's not something, you could just do washer mod if you really wanted to. And I've shown multiple times how to do that and that works just as well. Making sure our stuff is all clean. go okay cool we are clear and ready to go okay next up let's see let's go 95.5 for the loudness of the ram install today 95.5 thanks parker i'm glad you enjoy it that's why we do it, man. Just have fun. 95.5, guys. That's the loudness that we're going up against today using our Corsair Vengeance RAM. I had a different set of RAM originally for this, but I couldn't control it because of the MOBO, and I really wanted to use this MOBO. Uh, it's 3,200 mega transfers. Mega transfers. Okay. Got a ram out and a jam out. Ba -bam. Okay, next up. Sorry, NVMe in here. Oh, that's true. It could be zero racer pros. Could be like another critical fail. Uh, this one's already been updated. This one's good to go. But yes, I would. You would normally you would do a BIOS flashback to this to make sure that it's ready for a, a, a 13th gen. Oh, that's what's sticking. Oh. I'm going to grab this one. There we go. Yeah, you have to do a BIOS update to make sure that this will work with Z uh, with 13 Gen. It's okay, Pac. <laughs> this is this is live. That's the fun part. Now you can just ask questions that you want. Hey, Carmara Dub, thank you for the sub. 
30 months, whoa, that's amazing. Thank you, 30 months. Been there since the beginning and proud of it. 28 months from Blue Jay. Dropkick dropped a tier three. Wanted to get in on that PC giveaway. Yeah, I'm not, I, I'll be honest, Redbeard, uh, not my, this is not my favorite. I mean, like, they're not my favorite MOBO from a support standpoint. Like, their RGB support's terrible. Um, I don't mind, their BIOS is actually really easy to use, and that I'm grateful for, but man, there's a lot I think could be better. I'm gonna see, I got some sticky on here. I'm gonna see if I can get this, because it's like, it's really bad here. Uh, Gulano, do we have recommendations? Do we have recommendations? Let's give him that link. My favorite, the wow stick. Everybody knows about the wow stick. And the iFixit is a non, non electric, but the wow stick is our favorite. Was that, it was on fire, it was on sale for Black Friday. There we go. That's better. Now we got rid of that sticky. Oop. Oh, I almost got rid of that sticky. That was going to go pretty fast. I lied. Okay, now it's not sticky back there. There we go. All right, so now that's all good. Let's get our clicks ready. It'll stop sticking, which is annoying. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, let's see what let's see what it's like. Okay, 95.5 guys. Here we go. 95.5. Is it gonna be a thing? Ninety-two! Ooh, that was not close. Eighty six. It feels like it should be good. It sounds good. Ninety four point three. It's so close. Ninety-four point three. It did not happen. It was so close, but it did not happen. That was that was disappointing. I really thought ninety-five point five. It would hit. Wow, wow, guys! All sorts of fails today. So many fails today. User error, do it again. Okay, well, I think the next one, it's zip ties, right? Zip tie count. Isn't that the next one? Okay, guys, so get it in. Zip tie man, zip tie man. Guess the count of them if you can. Even Zars, who can know? Make your wagers on every show. Hey now, Roby's the Zip Tie Man. Channel points. Okay, here we go. Zip tie it in, guys. So you get your get, get your vote in. It's up, odd or even. Odd or even on uh, on zip ties. Will it be an odd number of zip ties or even number of zip ties? Oh, I might need to go get a LGA 1700 kit for this. I'll be back in a sec, guys. Got to grab a, a Asa Tech connect, a Asa Tech mount for LGA 1700. Apparently, we've had this uh, this cooler for a while.
Okay, we're gonna put in our Acetec cooler, or Acetec bracket. There we go. Okay, just get this screwed down. Get it tightened down. There we go. I wanna hit 2,000 today, guys. I want it to be over 2,000 so we can finally start that fight, that, that countdown to the final bits of giving that PC away. Eric P. dropping a prime sub. Remember guys, sub only giveaway for the month of December for holiday is a full PC. Say right now it's a uh, Intel Core i9, uh, Core i5, 13600K with a Radeon 6650 XT. It's got a 360 millimeter AIO and it's inside of a G360A. Or if you want, we could switch to a Ryzen 7 7600X and a B66, B5, B650 with, uh, and they both have 32 gigs of RAM and they're both DDR5. And then slowly as we get more and more subs or whatever it was, we will upgrade them. Okay, so that is in. Our system is ready. You're only here for the dad jokes. Okay, there we go. Everything's clear. Let's go ahead and go to stripping down our case. Getting it prepped. We're gonna get our AIO front mounted first. Just get it ready. All that fun stuff. Ugh. Let's go to side view. Okay, so go ahead and take this off. There we go. Oh, there's our, our H5 series box. Actually, let's put it over here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and next. Unscrew the side here. Back. There we go. And what else do I need? I think that's pretty much it. That's all there is. It's like, it's very easy to basically, uh, very easy to just kind of strip down. Not a whole lot to this case. We are gonna take out the rear fan here. We're gonna use RGB. Want the RGB. Hey, Chaps, thank you for the sub. Eric P, thank you for the sub. This is the, so I was talking about the wow stick. It's what you need. Brings you all the joy. Anonymous Gifter, thank you very much. Colin Gardy, thank you very much for the resub. Okay, let's throw our motherboard in. You guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? Ready for some motherboard installation? See you later, Najia. Thanks for popping in for a little bit at least. Here we go, here we go. 
I did it with pizzazz and panache. Did you see that? I like looked like I was gonna slam it, but I didn't. Who did I fake? I, fo I faked you out. I faked you out, you know it. Faked you out, you know it. And then look at how clean this looks. Look at how clean this looks. Okay, before I get too crazy, let's see how this thing works. See how this thing works. Make sure I don't have to do anything crazy before I put my mobo in. And what I'm looking at here is the uh, is the vertical mount kit. So we want to vertically mount this GPU, so it's just got all the awesome. Farger, what's up, man? I miss you. How are you, my friend? It's been a while. I'm playing World of Warcraft. We have a server. We just went to retail for a bit, and I was thinking about you the other day. How you been, man? It's so good to have you back. Did you? Uh, are you? Are you? Uh, are you still playing? We 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 started the dragon dragons. We started playing with dragons. I think I have to put this in before. I'll send you the info, because you should play with me and Kevin, because I know that you actually really like to play. I hope this is easy to put in. I think it just, it just looks like it just goes in, guys, maybe? Because this is the, uh, so this is the vertical mount kit. It goes in like that. It looks, I wonder if it, it looks like you just take out all the parts. So I think you just put this out. Let me look at the instructions. Well, it's good to have you back. It's, I, I miss you. We did play racket, no classic rack. We did play. Uh, call him Guardy. Come join us on the. If we're on Scenarius, we're on Scenarius. If you guys want to come play with us, let me know. Re, put it in the World of Warcraft. We'll put the the info. It's there's a guild there too, and I've been playing. I mean, I will play as best as I can, guys. It's just you understand. I uh, yeah, my life is not easy. So it looks like it just looks like you adjustable bracket stand. Okay. Excuse me. It doesn't say how this works. I'm assuming if I just remove all these, there's no... Yeah, it's all solid, so I think this is all just going to work the way that I expect it to. Okay, we got it out when we're ready. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's true. No rest for the wicked. That is, I, I will, I will take it. But I've been enjoying, I've been enjoying playing recently. So, and Farger's, uh, it's, it's good to see Farger. Farger plays. So, and if anybody else wants to play, we're there. We're playing. Well, thanks for following, Rigus, or Rigus, if I said that name correctly. Okay, guys, we're at 1957. We're trying to get to 2,000 today. If we get to 2,000, then uh, we're going to be on the downward trail for that PC giveaway. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Okay, let's get these in. Set to apply everything I learned watching Ruby. Put my apply the paste, installed RAM, and Noctua paste. Insert my AVG into the new Fantex I bought over a year ago. That's why I discovered the 24 with the 90 degree angle blocks the 24 hardware because I wanted to do nice like Roby Tech does. 
Yeah, they do 90 degrees, and that is a, it's cool, but it is not, it's definitely not for everybody, and it's not gonna work in all cases. I'm sorry you were heartbroken, my friend. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to top down, sorry. I just realized you guys cannot see what I'm doing. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. I agree watching them is satisfying. That's fine. I mean, call him Guardy. That's there's no issue with that. It's a perfectly fine temp. It's it's weird because because of that 90 degree, you could do the uh, Lee and Lee Land Cool Three because you can extend it out and still get that nice bend. So I would do the Land Cool Three. The 216 also works really well for that Land Cool 216. So yeah. Either one of those would be fine. And I like, I recommend both of those cases. I love the Fantex P500A. We had the review just come out for the G500A. Anytime, Pig Radio. <laughs> Toasty notes, that's okay. I think a lot of people do. I'm very lucky and I get it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and hook up all of our cables right now just to get them done. There's our USB-C. And I, this is one of the things I do love about this particular case is that the USB 3 is on the side, so it ends up looking really clean. See, I love, I love that. Doesn't that look really good? You don't end up with an ugly cable. The other thing too I also like about this case is that both the front panel connector, the front panel connector is actually just a single connector, so it makes it really easy. So there's that. And our front panel connector. Okay, we're gonna throw that in here. And then we also are going to grab a USB, sorry, a fan splitter and use that. So front panel connector, it's just very easy. It's gonna go right here at the bottom. And it's all one connection, which is always beautiful. Everybody say thank you NZXT, because that's always a good thing. We like, we like that. All right, so now let's grab our USB splitter and then we're gonna put in our, so I'm gonna throw a couple more things in here. I'm gonna throw this, sorry, not, not USB splitter, fan splitter. I'm gonna throw this in here. This is our USB connector for our uh, RGB for the NZXT RGB hub. So I'm going to run that down. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a splitter for fans. 
throw that in here too. Here's our fan splitter. Keep things simple. There's just not a ton of fan headers on this board and this just makes it a little bit easier. There you go. Okay, so now all of our connections are in. We're good, looks good. Now let's deal with our, go in, let's go ahead and put in, because all of our main bottom connections are in, minus, I mean, we have AIO that we'll deal, and it has its own connection for that. We could put the exhaust fans, we'll, we should be able to run those and, and be good there. So let's go ahead and put in our thing. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Okay, so now we're just gonna put in our vert mount kit. Which we like. When gaming on a PC, my screen will suddenly go black and my fans will rev to full speed. Can't do anything other than reset the system. And yet I, so Chaps, one of the things I do is I, I is, is it a gigabyte GPU? My, unfortunately, Mike Souls, you have to use their channel points to get dad jokes. Hmm. Yeah, I've seen that with, uh, the issue that I've seen is when they go, they don't deal with sleep very well. So turning off the sleep stuff has a tendency to fix that. Um, but I've, I actually, you know, it's funny, I'm reaching out to Gigabyte about the very same thing. 216 pig radio, the Landcool 216. Oh, man. Okay. This one's gonna be lame. It's in your power settings. Talk to uh, the folks in Discord. It's hard for me to do that while I was streaming, but talk to Discord and see what it, there you go. And maybe BMOC knows, cause I'm having that issue with the, uh, with a uh, Gigabyte 4080. Okay, we're getting all that stuff out. Okay, now this should, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, just disconnect this. They make it easy, don't they? There we go. Well, that's pretty cool. And there we go, now we've got a vertically mounted GPU. Pretty nifty neato, guys. So easy. No, we, uh, we have to do the giveaway for the last one, Riddick. Oh, did we not do it? Fallujian, we have a build coming out. Uh, look for a video that's coming out basically uh, on uh, on Monday, all about a great A770 build with benchmarks. Okay, so that's that's really cool. That's very that's very simple.
I like simple. Yeah, so you got one with uh, it's got it's uh, quite a few games. So that'll be out on that'll be out on uh, that'll be out on, like I said, on Monday, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Okay, that is in. Trying to see if there's anything else that looks actually really good, guys. I like how clean it's all coming together. And it blocks that bottom there, which looks nice. Okay, so let's get our 280 millimeter AIO installed. And then uh, we have a couple fans. Let's throw the fans in there real quick. So far, I'm liking how this is going. K Dog, thank you for the sub. Okay, there we go. It's so good to see Farger back. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's get these fans in. People throwing giveaway stuff is. Max Bunny, it's okay. Uh, motherboard is the Z690 N7, and then the RAM is 3200 Mega Transfer uh, Corsair Vengeance. There you go. Actually, really to see, really excited to see how this build turns out. Get some RGB in here, that's what we want. RGB. This case will fit a 4090, yes. We had a review of this case, it just came out. If you wanna find out all the details, literally just watch the video. It came out like Monday, I think Monday. Okay, that's in. Okay, let's run that back. Throw our couple RGB bits back. First RGB fan in. There's that. Okay, next up, let's grab our top one, do our top fan real quick. Uh, 
I was like, where's our fan? No, that's not it. That's the, that's the used one. Here it is right here. I'm blind, guys. Oh, it's stuck on the... Yeah, let's move this over so you guys can see a little bit more. There we go. Well, that's what I like about these cards, right? Like these, the like the A770s, cards like the, the 6650, um, the 6700, is that these cards aren't break the bank type graphics cards, uh, Ghost Poner. There are really good solid options at price points for this stuff. And so that's why, that's why sometimes I like to build stuff like this too, you know what I mean? It's really funny because like, you know, I see a lot of PC build streams, and a lot of these guys are SIs, that they'll go and do a PC build and like every single one of them is either a freaking 4090 Lee and Lee 011 or some other showcase build. Nobody's nobody's out here building like builds that are affordable. And don't get me wrong, I like to do 011 builds too. Not all the time, man. Whew. Those things are just not, there, there's like a point where you're like, I am just done building in this case. Pig Radio, thank you as always for tuning in, my friend. I love the core people who watch. And thank you. What's up, Nameless, how are you? It has been a while. It's good to see you though. We've had a couple, we got some old, we got some good old timers coming back, which is always, I love. I do pyro, it's, then we have both. We're at stream, we're on, we're on Twitch and YouTube right now. These new fans from NZXT are pretty awesome. They're just easy to install, which I like. Okay, we're gonna put the last couple components in. I we'll have all our components in, which is always like a big spot. You need to build, right? Once you kind of have like all the components in, so it's like a big moment. Okay, so now there's all that. Looks good. Oh, my last one. Little magnetic screwdriver here. Uh, yeah, we'll have fans in the front, but those are the only two we'll have in the back. Let's throw our first zip tie of the build in. Just keep this top area clear here. 
clean. There we go. Okay, so first zip tie in, and now all of our fans are in. Let's uh, let's get our AIO installed, and then we'll let's just kind of start and do and fill up. Uh, we uh, I forgot the name of this light. Um, I love it, uh, and I had it. I had a. We should get a link for it. I'll I'll get a link for it for you. I love this light. It's like a see. It's like a it's like a screwdriver. It like look. It's like it looks like a light. It's by Reiko, and then it's got a bendable head, so you can like shine a light in, and then it, like so. And it's also magnetic base, so it goes down to this size, and it makes it really easy just to stick it in and then shine your light around, which is pretty cool. Yeah, the, there's a fan at the bottom for blowing air into the GPU, and if you look at our review, it does it does affect temps. Um, if you have a blower style GPU, it may not be a good idea, but for the, like an intake style that we're, like we're doing today, it's going to be absolutely fine. It feeds it in really great air. Okay, so now let's get our AIO. Okay. Top down. Okay, now you're just gonna unscrew this stuff. So we tested it live on stream. Uh, we tested it live on stream and still intake top, intake bottom with exhaust out of the back. Um, works best for, depending on your, depending on your ambient, if your ambient is semi war then it's better to go the other way. It's better to do intake top, exhaust top, intake back, intake bottom, exhaust in the back and the... Uh... Oh, this has one more, uh... oh, that's unfortunate. Forgot about that USB. So I'll have to move that out. Get all these little cables you got to do for it. Uh, well, if it's anything like Gotham, it's pretty good. It depends on if it's a DX12 or DX11 title. I like the Avengers game, by the way. I thought it was actually really good. Played the crap out of it.
Okay, we're gonna daisy chain these real quick. There we go. And the last thing you need is out of here. Just make sure that this goes into the right thing. Yeah, this is the end. Cool. All right, so now we go. So the way that these work, just so you know, there's a small cable that daisy chains connects these two connectors. And then there's a, this is for RGB for both. And then the fan stuff, it's pretty straightforward, but it's always worth mentioning because I know everybody's like, how did you do that? So pretty straightforward. It just, you just want to make sure that the out is the only thing coming out of the whole thing. Everything else is, you don't want it in, you need it to have out. So it'll, it'll actually connect to the AIO. You just basically want to run all your cables. Do a side here, and then there's a nice little gap, and it'll all just kind of line up. Just like that. And the last part. Yes, for the, for the best temps, depending on your ambient, intake top, intake bottom, and then, uh, then exhaust out the side. But if your ambient is pretty warm, then it's better to do the opposite. I'm gonna go to the other side. It's actually a little easier to do it from the other side. Once I get this, then it can't go anywhere. There we go. It's a little bit of work, but once you get it in, lined up originally, it goes pretty quick. Just gotta get four screws in. Four screws in seven years ago, when I first started working on the CIO. And don't worry, the height, I know I'm top, I have the, the, the pump up top, that's, it's still below the, the, the pump is still not going to be the highest point, so it will not have any issues. So before you start saying found a bunch of stuff, just FYI, it's fine. It's called the Wow Stick. Oops, wow, 
I left, I left, I left some stuff on the table. Okay. Let's get this installed. And then we can start finishing our build, guys. Kind of like the last hefty component to get in here. And they have these beautiful little holes right where you need them. There we go. So for when you pull it out on your way out. There we go, and just like that, it just lines right in, which we love. Love it when a good plan comes together. I think if the good plan has come together, we'll have to see. Oh, it's not all the way in there. I lied about the good plan coming together. It's not quite in. It looked like the good plan had come together, but it hadn't yet. There we go. Yeah, and if you get it right, if you line it up right, it will literally just slip right in. Like there's no fuss or anything like that if you get it right. Like it will just go, it'll just slip. Like it just works perfectly. So if you're getting any fighting from the AIO, then you don't have it lined up all the way. And then it looks like this, right? You just got your, 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 all your stuff just comes out right from here. So you're all good to go there. Okay, so let's take care of this. There we go. Why is this pink so problem? There we go, okay. Then this is for the AIO and everything, so. Okay. So all of our connectivity is ready. This one I'm not worried about yet because I need to be able to get to it. The only thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean off the front thing. Jester Gaming, I already, I already mentioned that before. Best configuration if you have a low ambient temperature, if it's cool in your room, it's cool in your room. PC guy, thank you very much, by the way. If it's cool in your room, first one is you wanna do intake top, intake bottom with exhaust out the back. If your room is pretty warm, then intake back, intake bottom, exhaust out the top. You definitely wanna do intake at the bottom because you wanna make sure that you are getting fresh air to your GPU. The question is, is that giving cooler, feeding cooler air to your CPU is obviously better, but if you don't have, if you have a warm ambient, then it's not gonna have as big of an impact, so it's, the, you actually end up with little, slightly better temperatures the other way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 
it is temp related, but the best temps we've seen are intake top, intake bottom, exhaust out the rear. I mean, out of the back, yeah. Yeah, I like that liquid dispenser, it's cool. Okay, here we go. Before I get too far, let's grab my Come on. Trying to just get the right. There we go. Okay, let's put this down on its back. It's just easier to mount it that way. There we go. Okay, let's get this sealed down. Okay. Let's get our little bit left and then that's the last component we gotta put in outside of PSU. Okay, guys, don't forget, 11, we, we got to get that last 250 so we can do that other giveaway. Head on over to youtube.com slash Robitech Live. Hit that thumbs up button so we can get that, we can do that other giveaway. Okay, there's that.
Okay. go. Okay, let's get that in. Okay, let's go to side view. We're just getting the clean, getting it clean now. Let's get that last little bit cleaned up here. Okay, there we go. Nice clean look here. Okay. So now our AIO is in. Got it all nice and clean here. Nice clean bend. Which is all we want. Just want it to look nice and go. So let's grab our Okay, let's get kind of get this start getting this hooked up here. So this is all of our our uh, AIO stuff here. So for that, that is not. Okay, that's to our, this is all, this is our rear fans. We should have a, okay, that's two, okay, there we go. Okay, I think what we do here is we make a nice tight one here at the top. Let's make it nice and clean. I think that's gonna end up looking the nicest. It's right out of the thing. Out of the portal here, so we'll make this look good. Nice clean run out the down the side there. go. We can do this just to clean that little bit up. There we 
go. Okay, we're just gonna run this up. So let's move this stuff out. Go. Okay, so this we're going to run down. Chatter, what's up, man? Thank you for the sub. Tier three. Guys, we're 40 subs away from the goal for today. Which is uh which is to hit that to hit that uh 3,000. Ooh. That is that is not gonna work. Oh, that might actually be okay. I really thought this was gonna be plenty long, but it's not it's not quite long enough. Crud. This this one this one USB that they have every time is just always just that much too short just to do some really nice RG, to do some really nice cable stuff with it. So I'm gonna try and see if I can get it in here. The other thing too is that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it with the, you might have to take this out real quick. The vertical GPU, which we put in here, can't quite get to the, can't quite get to that USB spot. This vertical GPU mount is very easy to use. Just you need to make sure all your cables are plugged in first, and mine were not. Now it's good. Now let's go ahead and take these, which are our system fans. Since I can see, might as well take advantage of this real quick. So this is for our two exhaust fans. Actually need this. So we actually are good. And that was a extension, but we don't need it. Okay, so let's grab our one fan right here. And this is our exhaust fan for our, our intake fan for our GPU. Okay, so all of our fans are now hooked up. And we should be, at that point, now have everything ready to go. Premature.
installation of our vertical mount. It has now been remedied. remedied. The best thing about the vertical mount is it like hides all of those bottom cables. It makes it look really clean. Which I like, I like clean. We try to make it clean. Okay, we'll do the back after we, we'll leave this off for temporary in case we hit another hiccup. Okay, so that's that. Unfortunately, it kind of makes this cable kind of wacky, but it is what it is. I wanted it to look pretty, but this one cable is just a little, it's just my, it's the standard NZXT problem with their USB. It makes for an unsightly, an unsightly appearance, sir. Ooh, 39, yeah, 39 subs away from that goal, guys. Okay, here we go. There's that one. AIO. RGB to AIO. Booty chapper, booty chap, <laughs> booty chatter dropping 10 and getting his name up on that board for this week. cables a little bit cleaned up here. Want it to look nice when we're all done. Ugliest cable here is going to be that USB. It's just it. It would have been nice to be able to run it the way that I wanted to, but that's what we we get. We get what we get. And we don't throw a fit sometimes. You know what I'm saying, guys? Okay, now get these cleaned up. Oh, we're out of music. I guess we're out of music, guys. I'll get that fixed here in just a second. We can't not do, have Christmas music. I'm a joy to the world right now. Oh, no. Okay, Whew. I was like, wait a minute. Okay, let's get that in. I still got to stretch. I still got to hydrate. They, they did that 33 minutes ago. They were like, Roby, take care of yourself. I'm like, sure, I'll do that. I'll get on it. I'll get right on it. And then I haven't done it yet. 
I'm in focus mode, guys. Focus mode. Okay. Go and one more. Okay, let's get the music started again. Guys, let's get those likes up on YouTube. Everything else has been going great. We're we're super close to that goal on on for subs, but let's not forget about the free one. The one that all you got to do is just like. Easy peasy one right there. So little to that one. Likes are free, guys. I feel like that would like, let me grab my. This is our RGB hub for our NZXT. I wonder if this will actually, this is the right length. It is, okay, that's what I thought. I like it when a good plan comes together.
There we go. What's up, Swampy? Cleaning up our cables here a little bit, just get it a little bit cleaner looking. go. Okay, let's do this. This is our little USB here. Let me do this. It'll like almost make it look like there's a little bit of Everything is just about making cabling look intentional. If that makes sense. This is what I'm doing here. We got likes, guys, on YouTube. And then that makes it look like the packages are coming, the cables are coming up from up. Okay, that's a little bit better.
Okay. Now let's get this in here. It's power. This is the Roast Juniper. Thank you very much, Zombie. Twice. Guleno, thank you very much, guys. 15, no, 25. And we've hit the goal for tonight. Okay, there's our power. Okay, everything's in, connected, ready to go. We got a couple more power things, but most of this is like gonna be PSU stuff. Put the PSU up and with this in here in a minute. Let's get our GPU in. Okay. Let's see what do we got. Okay, we're gonna go flip this over. Let's get our GPU in. It's this one cable. Like if I could get this cable, oh, we can actually let's do our EPS real quick. How about those? Now the colors are purple and blue. So for arc, so we're gonna use two different GPU color uh, connection colors here. There we go. Flew that, flung that around like a crazy person. Okay, this is done. All connected now. There we go. Ugh. Time to get some color into this build now. I'm curious. Actually, I think we should mix the colors. So while we're doing this, I'm gonna do, hold on, let's do my quick, I actually do need that stretch. Oh, let's do that quick stretch. Okay, so we got the stretch. So let's talk about what's going on for the giveaways and everything like that. Uh, first and foremost, um, we have, uh, we have uh, 250 likes on the YouTube, over at youtube.com slash Live. We get 250, we give away a $25 new A gift card. The second one we have is that if we get another level five hype train, which should be coming up here pretty soon, we've gotten one level five hype train, we'll also give away a $25 new A gift card. For the month of December, for subscribers, uh, if you are a subscriber over at twitch.tv, so, oh, I guess there's an ad running right now, so we'll wait for the ad, yeah. Wait for the ad to be done. And there's a the hydrate.
Ya. Yeah. There we go. Okay, here we go, top down. All right, so, oh, we got 17 seconds in. And then once we do that, I'll, I'll go through and talk about the... Uh... Okay. There's that. And then that covers. You got that purple and purple and blue here. Okay, let's do Okay, so now what I can say is for people who are turning in, uh, for, for tuning in. So we have two giveaways that are happening. And uh, so uh, if we get 250 likes over on youtube.com slash Tech Live, then we'll give away a $25 new gift card. If we get another level five hype train, we will give away another uh, $25 new gift. No matter what, we're giving away at least one because we got a level five and I was generous enough and then Riddick uh, ended up cleaning it out there at the very end anyway. Uh, lastly, uh, we have the sub only giveaway for the month of December. It's a full PC. We're gonna give a full PC to a subscriber over at twitch.tv slash Robitech. If you wanna get on that, uh, basically uh, all you gotta do is head on over to twitch.tv slash Robitech, drop your free prime sub and you're entered to win right there. Now, if you wanna get extra entries, you can get extra entries and the way you get extra entries is by uh, is by uh, using uh, uh, if you use your Prime sub, then you get one entry. If you subscribe at tier two, you get uh, th uh, three entries. Subscribe at tier three, you get five entries. And subscribe at tier f uh, three, you get ten entries. So, and then that's all for a PC giveaway that we'll be drawing right before Christmas. Right now, it's a Core i7. 13600K with a uh, 6650XT, uh, Radeon 6650XT. But the more subs we get towards that, the better the giveaway gets. So like if we get a ton of subs, then the, the GPU, it's, the giveaway will also grow uh, in size as well. So uh, that is happening for, the, for this month. And if you wanna get on that, you can. Uh, also every, uh, every gifted sub also gets you additional entries as well. Um, and then lastly, down there in the bottom right hand corner, you see where it says 1978. Once we get to 2,500 subs, we'll give away that, um, 
we'll give away that Project Stealth build. Which is like a 12700K and a 3070. So if you want to get in on those giveaways, those are happening for the month of December here on the channel. Okay, so there's our GPU cables all in. Me and our power cables. Okay, let's get our GPU in. been lit the whole time. Ugh. Here it is right here. It's if you want to do, oh, okay. There we go. There we go. There it is. <sighs> okay, let's grab our power stuff. need a Okay, I need a special kind of Hmm. It's going to be interesting to get this GPU screwed in. Okay. It's almost like I need to remove this other fan to put it in and then see if this works. Trying to figure out how they want me to screw, screw in the. I guess, hold on, wait, maybe I can do it. Hold on, let me do it this way. Guess what you do is this actually. I think you put in the GPU and then put it in.
think this will be actually easier. Do it this way. There we go. Let's grab our Okay, there we go. Now let's run our last cables. Okay, we're just getting this built. Our last kind of little bit before we just drop this into the case and then. you do it backwards. What's up? How you doing? Auto racing? I like that name. So I just got it. It's going good. We're getting close to the end. It's always like the best place. It's almost time for the payoff. Thank you for asking. Well, I mean, the good thing about having a PC that only has a third of that is that that's something you can definitely upgrade. Dang it, did I really do this twice wrong? Wow, I really did it twice wrong, guys. Uh, you can buy a, you can buy a, um, you can buy a bigger NVMe later. I'm on fire, guys. Yeah, it's for sure right now, because I verified and put one on, so I don't make that mistake. 
Nani Mikura, you don't need it unless you're gonna do LN2 overclocking, and if you're not gonna overclock, you don't need that other pin. You have more than enough power. It's an optional connection. And if I had four pin, if there were four pin cable combs, then I'd put it in there, but there are not. I still think a 12900K is worth it, yes. They've been at good prices too. There was a four terabyte cool, uh, four terabyte crucial uh, for two hundred and fifty bucks. Okay, well now I got it right that time. Okay, we're gonna make sure we put this the right way. It was a heck of a deal. Tom, we got good deals for today. We're getting pretty close to deal time here. How are we doing likes on YouTube? Oh, there you go. Tom sitting there telling you it's still $2.99 for, still a good deal. Okay, now let's put this in. Where is there? No, that's not. There they are. Okay. Okay, guys. So there's our build.
Okay, now all we gotta do is PSU. I might wanna, as bad as it sounds. little things that you notice. What we'll do in this one. So what I noticed was that one, one potential uh, cable comb could be visible from the bottom of the case. So I'm going to switch a cable comb around one of them. So it's visible in the right direction. So it's little small details like that that end up mattering. Little bits of polish that like end up making it look better, you know? So for this one is really hard to do this with. Let's put that on backwards. I'm glad I checked. Okay. Okay, and you can still see these are perfect. They're right, they line up right at the right spot. That's pretty funny. So they just, so like if you look at the bottom there, check it out, like you can see that like, it's hard, it's probably hard to see, but there's two cable combs down there too. So if you do a close up, the cable combs are actually showing in the right spot and they're the right length. And then they keep the cables clean here, too. I don't know, it's just little details. Gotta have the little details. I'm 
probably going to do is really quickly zip tie these together. Did I actually? Okay, cool. Okay, let's get our PSU in, guys. And then we'll finally have done this build. A little bit, little small attention to detail things sometimes just takes some extra time. But all we have left is PSU. Side there, we have three by eight. Their their Asia Horse makes them. They're called two, dual CPU. They're called dual CPU, and they have three uh, eight pin connectors. They, they call them double CPU. If they say double CPU, that means that they come with three eight pins. I don't know why they name them that way. It's just what they do. But org is right. Okay, just cleaning up the mess. A little bit, and then we can just do our PSU and be done. Okay. Guys, it's almost done. The build is close to finished. We just gotta throw a couple, just gotta throw a PSU in here and it's on like Donkey Kong, literally. Okay, so let's grab our PSU, C750. Okay, last little bit. We need a Molex. Ugh. That's what we need.
Yeah, one of these actually uses a Molex. Unfortunately, get a hydrate done. Guys, we are, we are 19 subs away from the goal. How are we doing on likes on YouTube? We're at, we're, at, we're at PSU time. 179, come on guys, we have 363 people here right now. Just hit that thumbs up button. Remember, we get to 250, we, get, we, uh, we give away a uh, $25 new gift card. So let's hit that, let's get that 250 squared away. And then uh, we need 19 subs, guys, to hit two, to be at 2,000. Okay, so here's our PSU cables. So we got our 24 pin. CPU. One, one SATA, one Molex U, that is true Bernie, that is true, I don't know how you found out sir, you've been stalking me, but yes, that's a little known fact about me. It was a micro ATX in need, it, it, was, it wasn't a big deal. She didn't even feel it. Yes, it is an ugly connector. gonna get us those last 19 subs guys okay here we go let's get this this mobo done my favorite three games are mass effect 3 or sorry mass effect 2 my bad uh, mass effect 2 uh, world of warcraft and hearthstone Cables. Okay. PSU is here, including that gnarly Molex. <laughs> okay. Okay. Side, last of the screws. It's like last of the Mohicans, but not Mohican screws. Oopsie. Sound like I said Uruguay, but I said okay.
go. Oh, time for this Molex. Just bring me, put me out of my misery, Molex. Switch the camera here in a minute, guys. Seventeen subs, guys. Let's hit all the goals. Okay, Molex time. Just get this out. Let's get this done with. Get this Molex done. Molex is finished. Ooh, Ooh Sternum dropping five. Thank you very much, Sternum. 1988. It's a good year. They do, apparently. And... I'm hungry. I forgot to eat dinner. So that is first up on my list after this is done. Eating some food. Okay. Molex is done. Let's get this CPU cooked up. And it's our VGA and We'll do our sponsor today, and we'll be all done. One ninety seven to two fifty, guys. Let's get those last fifty. Okay, last cable. It's the most important. Okay, system is done. Okay. Let's throw the back on. <clears throat> Look at it. I like it when a system just slides on easily. Let's make sure all of our cables on the front look good. See what I mean? I got that little... Let's 
So see how you can still see the cable extensions there? And the cable combs, which is actually pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Okay, system is done, guys. Okay, let's count our cable combs. And then, once we count our cable combs, we'll, uh, do our to our sponsor for today and then get a get our uh, get our deals done and go from there the build is done ladies and gentlemen okay so let's count our zip ties our arc, our arc died. Okay. Okay, let's do our zip tie count. Was it odd or even? I did use a lot more zip ties than I kind of expected in this build, but I gotta make it look good, you know? And it was supposed to be a showcase Intel Arc build, so that's what we wanted. Let's go to top down. You guys ready? One, two, three, four, five. There's five. One, two, three, four, Five, there's ten. One, two, three, four, five, there's fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, there's twenty. And four. Twenty-four today, guys. Twenty-four. Even it is. Twenty-four zip ties today. Congratulations, evens. All right, so let's do our deals real quick and talk about our sponsor and then we'll get to it. And then uh, we still have, guys, we still have, what's our likes on YouTube? Yeah, we did a lot of zip ties, but it was a showcase build, so I needed to make sure it looked really clean. That was the whole point, right? Everything to be super even and look really good. Okay. 40 more likes, guys. 40 more likes. Okay, there's likes. Let me need our... Four more likes and 12, what, how many? 12 more subs. And then we will have hit all of our goals for tonight. There we go. Okay. This looks really good. Yeah, it's the Origin Robitech one. Yeah, I like this laptop.
Oh, that one right there? Yeah, that's a nice looking build, isn't it? I like that, I like that height Y60 build. Okay. Uh, okay. So trying to get those last, those last subs, those last, uh, those last uh, likes. While we're doing that, let's talk about our sponsor for today, which is VIP slash CDKDeals.com. So you get finished with a build like the one we just finished. You're like, oh, you know, I want to put Windows 11 on it or Windows 10. Well, this is a this is a 13th gen. So let's go ahead and put Windows 11 on it. So there's Windows 11 right there. Uh, Regularly $206.47, but you can pick it up here for $31.60. So we'll just let that load. And if you hit buy now and use code RBCK at checkout though, and hit apply, what was $31.60 ends up only being $22.12. And again, we've had thousands of people I'd, I'd say, yeah, thousands and thousands of people who've used these codes. These are legit keys. Uh, they We verify them with Microsoft. They're great codes and they have great customer service. So the other thing too is also Office 365. So let's take a look here. Microsoft Office. Uh, that wasn't right. Let's see, did we get, there it is. There's Office 2021, regularly $195.81 on sale, $76.42. But again, if you use the same thing, hit, hit buy now. Use the same code RBCK at checkout, hit apply. What was $76.42 is $53.49. So again, incredibly good deal for uh, picking up Windows or for Office. They also sell other things like keycaps and a bunch of other things. I don't know if the sale works for those or not, but great place to go and pick it up. Save yourself some good money on Windows and uh, be good to go um, after that. So, and then you don't have that weird activate now uh, lo uh, icon on the bottom right hand corner. So VIP-CDKDeals.com, use code RBCK at checkout for 33% off or something like that. All right, so last thing I wanna tell you guys about though um, is a couple things. One, uh, with the holiday season going on, if you're looking for deals, especially as you're going into buying last minute Christmas gifts, especially for anybody who is a, a PC builder, uh, looking for tech deals, TVs, games, uh, follow at robytechdeals.com, right? Great, uh, sorry, at robytechdeals on Twitter. Uh, Tom is literally tweeting stuff all the time uh, for sales on everything. So uh, stuff like when we found that four terabyte crucial drive for 250 bucks like stuff like that. So great thing to follow. Always just checking and seeing what he finds. Tons of people saved a lot of money uh, following at robytechdeals.com. And the other thing too, at robytechdeals on Twitter, not .com. The best thing about it is it also goes to help us and helps us continue to do what we do here uh, on Robitech. The uh, last part of this whole thing, and then we'll, we'll get to turning this thing on and doing the giveaways and stuff like that, uh, is robytech.com. Robitech.com, if you see a build that you like, you wanna pick up one of our build mats, uh, we're gonna have uh, pre-orders here very soon for our shirts. You can just go here, for instance, here's builds, and here's all the parts for the stream build that we built today. So if you wanted to build this exact system, here's a link to everything here. It's very easy to go and find it, and then just go from there and watch, of course, then this video and build it afterwards. Uh, but let's go and see what deals he's found. Because we all, you know, we talked about deals on Robitech Deals. Uh, Real Robitech Deals on Twitter, but let's see what deals he's got today for the stream. And he always picks some for us. Okay, so first and foremost, RG Strix Scar 15 Gaming Laptop. This is a 15.6 inch, 300 hertz, uh, full HD display with a GeForce RTX 3080, Ryzen 9 5900H, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, one terabyte uh, SSD. Uh, you've got optical mechanical per key RGB keyboard uh, with Windows 11 for $1,679.99. That is a really good deal uh, for a uh, 3080 uh, Ryzen 9 5900HX system. So you're looking for a high-end gaming laptop, there you go. And I like Asus, like their, we've tested some, like their X13 Flow and stuff like that. I really do like their laptops. They're also easily upgradable, which is nice. Riddick, thank you very much for the resub, dude. 
14 months, my man. And we are, what are we, 1991, nine away. Uh, XFX Speedster Swift 210. This is a 6650, one of my favorite budget GPUs. Uh, eight gigs, uh, $299.99. That's a great deal uh, that is for a really, really powerful G uh, uh, GPU. RME 1000E, this is Corsair's newest 1000 watt PSU, uh, $149.99 for a gold, uh, gold certified, can't go wrong with that. Ryzen 5 5600, uh, we did this in a build, this is a build where I, we actually just gave away last week. Uh, Ryzen 5 5600, 12 thread uh, unlocked processor with Wraith Stealth Cooler, that means you don't need a cooler for this, you, could, you have cooler and CPU included. $118 right now over at Amazon. Uh, there is that two terabyte SLC 3D cache. Uh, this is great for like casual gaming, uh, sorry, for gaming in general and casual storage use. 117 for a two terabyte or you can spend $299 and get a four terabyte. And then finally, the LG 50 inch UQ75. This is an LED 4K TV, 50 inch TV for $299.99. That is crazy. <laughs> All right, so my favorite is obviously the NVMe drive. Actually, it's like a Z. Well, no, every, you know, I'm never excited about PSUs, though that's a great price for the PSU. Uh, but uh, basically that laptop, GPU, CPU, NVMe, and that, that television are all ridiculous deals. So yeah, if you're looking for a good deal, man, Tom, a 50 inch 4K TV for less than 300, and, and it's an LG, which is bonkers. So um, yeah. That is, uh, yeah, Tom clap for that one. Good job, Tom. Hey, three months. By the way, uh, tier three. Thank you, Riddick. Good job, Tom. Wow, that was a really good deal. Really good. How are we doing on likes on YouTubes? Tom knocking it out of the park today on the deals. By the way, Tom was giving me some lip today. Just want to let you guys know. Two, 2,334 likes. Oh, dang. I was like, dang. People really like this video. Tom was giving me some lip. Well, is that why you get, well, I, dude, today was a crazy day. Uh, Deb, who you guys will get to see here pretty soon, is supposed to be here. Her flight got canceled. It's been snowing, and I need to call Tom. So I'll call Tom right, I'll call you right after this. No, I didn't forget. It, is, it has just been that kind of day. We'll call Tom right after this, though. So after the stream. Oh, music stopped again. Well, let's see. Can we, uh, let's, let's get this last get bit going here. Get this music going. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah, Deb will be here uh, tomorrow now at 8 o'clock, so. Oh, he does. He gets, a, he gets the additional, uh, additional pass. Okay, guys, time to turn it on. Let's get those last few likes. Can we just get nine subs, and then we'll, uh, we'll be done with our goal? I'm not even worried about a second hype train. We just want to get the hit all the goals today. Oh, man, I'm a little sore. I don't know why I'm sore. This has just been a week. Okay, here we go. There's our thing. Will it post is the next test. Will it post? And let's get all these goals done. It's not, Twirly. Today it won't be. Today it will not be, uh, it will not be, uh, it will not be sideways. Okay, let's put it in mood mode. Let's grab a drink and then uh, we'll get it started. Will the PC post, guys? This is a prediction. Okay, we're in mood mode. Gonna let the prediction go. Let's see if we can get those last couple jokes. I mean, those last couple, wow, jokes. Last couple likes. I'm actually really excited to see what this looks like. Oh, and somebody played for the dad joke. We had almost went a whole show without one. Now, another Robitech. Okay, we'll, we'll do a dad joke real quick because we haven't done one today. And so then we'll, uh, we'll get to the turning it on. Hopefully we'll get those last likes. Okay, let's see what we got here. <laughs> okay. 
I asked my wife, I asked my wife, I said, honey, how do you turn Alexa off? You know what she said to me? She said, how about walking through the room naked? <laughs> oh my God. Oh man, that w <laughs> that'll do it. <laughs> oh man, I like that one. I like that one a lot. Okay, okay, I'm gonna call my wife because she needs to hear that one. Oh man. Okay, let's let's see. Does she, what do you think? What are the odds that she's gonna answer? What is what are the odds she's gonna answer? <laughs> Alexa, play Rick Roll. We'll do giveaways here in just a few minutes. Hey. Hello? I don't know what's going on. Brenda? Hello? What is going over? She must be at practice. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'll tell her later. Okay. Alexa, make sure that you vote for Robitech as best YouTuber. She's, I don't know what she's doing. She must be at practice. Okay, so let's turn this on. How many likes do we have on YouTube? I used to do, the one that I used to do for uh, Blondie, I always used to say, Alexa, play Who Let the Dogs Out? <laughs> um, but uh, how are you doing on likes on YouTube? Let's get the music back started. This is why I wear headphones. Smart man. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> 246. We're three, four away. And we're nine subs away. Yay! So we got that goal. Okay, let's let's. Can we try and hit the the sub goal? And then let's turn this on. Here we go, guys. Ready? Three, two. Oh man, the ads the ads about to start. Let me see if I can snooze it. I don't know if I can snooze it. I can't. I can't snooze the ad. Oh. Okay, I, I, the ad's got to go. So once the ad's done, we'll just we'll hang out until the ads are finished. Not that anybody has ads. I don't want you. I don't want you to fall asleep. I don't want you to. Do, but the ad's got to run. Okay, I'll turn. It says ad starting soon. Will it? Will it start? Here we go. Boom. Oh, it's on. Look at that. Oh snap. Look at that GPU. Look at that, huh? You have to admit that that GPU is hot. Okay, let's get you guys a good side view so you guys can see this. Let's go to side. Didn't that look good? Oh, by the way, it is posted all the way, all the way posted. So there it is all the way posted and good to go. No, the GPU doesn't spin all the time. But it is posted and it's all the way. Now, luckily I did this so we could easily get it all colored and ready to go because I wanted it to be finished. Okay, CPU temperature. Okay, here we go. Lighting. OK, 
Okay, let's see. Let's put them. Let's make them purple. What do you think? Is that only the front two? I think I did. I think I was able to do like a. See what marquee looks like. I'm trying to find a good picture for it. Oh, that's crazy. Let's not do that. That's 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 getting wild. The the colors of the the GPUs and stuff like that look great. What is candle? See what candle looks like. I'm trying to find something that's like fancy to kind of go with it. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Okay, now let's figure out why this isn't. I like that a lot. The rotation's nice, but I don't know why I can't see the I don't see the, the stuff for hue. So it looks, I mean, like the only thing is, is like it actually looks really good. Okay, well that looks good. That looks nice. And with all the colors and everything like that, it actually looks really good. The front, here I'll show you from the wide. The front's like doing like a, like a bit of a purple, like flashy look there. She actually looks really nice. Oh, it's frozen. Okay, that's not good. Okay, here, we'll do this one. So there you go, so you can see from the front. Just kind of playing a nice purple. And then here's the whole thing. Restart this real quick. I love the way that it looks with the, I love the way that it looks with the, with the, this. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if we can get these to go purple or blue. Cause I think the white, I mean the white looks okay, but I wish it was like all purple and blue. Well, I just restarted it. Going through. You have it running? What's going on here? Okay, one more time. One sec. Let's see if we can get it going. Hey, Barupa, Red Claw. There we go. We're six away. Then we'll get this done. We still got to do the giveaway, guys. I'm trying to see if I can get this last fan to go. Yeah, that GPU is really attractive. Yeah, it does pretty good. Yeah, like we, so there's a video coming out. There's a video coming out literally uh, tomorrow, guys. Uh, sorry, on Monday that has all the benchmarks for a system like this and everything. The only difference is, is that it's a less expensive version of this particular build. Um, uh, but yes, it does perform well. Why does this not show up? Let me see if I go to NZXT purple. I'm not changing the light at all. Oh, I wonder if there's, is there a, uh, there's, no.
Except for it's like it's funny because I'm like looking at this and it's like not li like obviously they're lit, but it's not letting me change the lighting for the fans. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but it's still the build looks good. I'm actually really impressed with how clean it looks and how it came out. I think the better thing to do is probably just to set the front AER fans to white. I think that'll actually end up being the cleanest. And then I really actually like the, the display for the other thing. Cosmic Jordan getting us to six, and there it is, 2,000, guys. And there we go. All our lighting is done, and we are in a good spot for the build. Okay. Uh, well, there it is. Cosmic Jordan for the win. We hit all of our, we hit all of our goals. Let's, uh, let's give you guys a good side view of the build for now, and then let's do our, start our giveaway. So first up, uh, we're gonna be, well, there's only, one, uh, only two, so we're gonna do two giveaways, and this is for a, a $25 new egg, uh, two $25 new egg gift cards. Exclamation point new egg now, guys. Starting that giveaway right now, guys. Two minutes. That looks really good. It looks better because the, the, the colors aren't as bright here. It's purple and blue, but man, it looks really good. I love that GP, the GPU just looks really good in there. And it even has that on the top too, see? Doesn't that look neat? with the Intel Arc there. Braythorn, what's up, buddy? It's good to see you. Thanks for the raid, my friend. We just got finished with the, uh, a showcase, showcase uh, Intel Arc build using uh, NZXT, the NZXT H5 Flow. Yeah, exactly. Good for your folks who are like wanting to get in on a giveaway. Okay, guys, 20 seconds. The little, the back glow from the GPU actually helps a lot. It like really does a good job of illuminating the inside of the case. So it's got this whole top glow too that actually just does this really cool job of illuminating the case really well. Yeah, this is a very pretty, I mean like I love the cleanliness of the, the GPU. Congratulations to Frozen AGN and Tough MN, Tough MN and Frozen AGN, you are the winners. No more entries, guys. Okay, so let's talk about the rest of the week. Um, so, uh, there is a tentative, tentative uh, stream set uh, for, uh, for Saturday. Uh, we are in the middle of doing a crazy shoot with Ford, etc. So, and with the weather and stuff like that, there may be a chance that Saturday's stream will get canceled. We'll know more probably Saturday morning. Uh, we're hoping it's all fine. If we do uh, go Saturday, we're actually going to be playing around with them. Some uh, 7800 Mega Transfer Rams. We're going to do a build around the 7800 Mega Transfer Ram, and then we're going to we're going to try and bench it and see how well it does and how well it performs. So that's that's the plan for Saturday, uh, and then we will be back on Tuesday. Uh, for a height Y60 build. So it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, we're gonna be playing around with some super, super fast RAM. 
Uh, thanks to the folks over at Gigabyte. Uh, Deb is in town until the 9th of December. So she's here, or actually the 11th. So we have, we're gonna be doing a bunch of shoots uh, and then you guys will know more about those shoots come mid-December uh, when uh, the whole thing kind of comes out. So lots of fun uh, going on and we're just gonna keep it, keep it going, which should be fun. How many subs were for the PC? What do you mean in need of, oh, I'll have to look at that for the other one. I'll have to go look. We'll look at that and we'll get a counter up so you guys can know uh, how that's going. So yeah, I will tell Deb you said hi. Yeah, she'll be here. She's gonna be here for a couple days. We've got three videos we gotta crank out uh, while she's here. So should be a lot of fun and should be a should be a fun, fun stream. Uh, huge shout out obviously to Intel for giving us the Intel Arc. Uh, it's part of another video that again is out on Monday. So this is to build a little hype for that. If you wanna know more about Intel Arc's performance, we have a whole video coming out on a nice budget Intel Arc system uh, that also, uh, you know, with, with benchmarks and everything else. So that'll be Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, and then tomorrow, uh, look for the review of the Evo 16S. Uh, it's an AMD Advantage laptop. Very impressed with the AMD Advantage program. So that's gonna be going live tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, here as well. Um, outside of that, guys, have a great night. Super appreciate everybody and everyone. Braythorn, uh, super appreciate the raid. But that is it for me. I'm going to go get some food and then play around with this, this desktop, and we'll see you in, a, in another one. Thanks for everything, guys. We'll see you guys in a, a future episode. Good night.